Over 36% of Kenya's population is made of young people between 18 and 35 years old. These young people are highly educated, energetic and smart with clear and vibrant thoughts about accomplishing their aspirations in life. Thousands of youth complete their education in anticipation for employment while others opt for entrepreneurship development. The reality becomes very harsh when most of them find themselves unable to secure employment in the already flooded job market, while those with innovative ideas lack the capital to start businesses and avenues to market their products and services. The greatest challenge facing this demographic is unemployment. Young people account for 60% of the unemployed in the country. They have limited opportunities to secure employment. They lack access to affordable credit and entrepreneurial skills that would help them move out of poverty. Lack of opportunities has led to desperation among young people. They remain extremely affected by poverty, discrimination and vulnerable to exploitation. For this energetic demography, their greatest priority is engaging in economic activities that would earn them a livelihood. The government, through the Ministry of Devolution and Planning, has continued to place the concerns of Kenyan youth at the heart of its development agenda. The government has implemented strategies towards addressing their needs in order to increase their participation in nation building. The Youth Enterprise Development Fund is a state agency under the Ministry of Devolution and Planning and uh, it is a flagship project of Vision 2030. The fund uh, was set up as a means of addressing the issue of unemployment um, of which youth constitute 70% of the population. And also when you look at the energy that a country needs to create, we, need to, we needed to definitely tap into the potential and the opportunities that the youth will create. So the fund was set up to ensure that young people can participate in nation building through entrepreneurship. I decided to go into business. I was unemployed, I was looking for a job after graduating. One of the things that was really limiting the young women in participation is because they did not feel they had a voice for one, which is now where our capacity building programs come in. They also did not feel the need for them to participate beyond being able to provide for their households, especially for the young women. Before I started General Supplies, I used to run a shop. The rent was so high, the, the goodwill, the lease, all those things, the city council. So I decided to, to now go to General Supplies. In addition to providing affordable financial and business development services to young entrepreneurs through the Youth Fund, the government has found it meaningful to give them opportunities to participate in government contracts and tender. Our president uh, decreed 30% uh, uh, allocation towards youth, women and persons with disability as a vehicle for youth generally and persons with disability to participate in nation building and to also be able to trade with government as the largest supplier or the largest procuring entity in the country. I came to know about that through a friend, so I applied. I went personally to Treasury. I got the certificate within two days. Then from there, I started now applying for the tenders, which I got successfully. So as a fund, uh, what we did is uh, we introduced what we call the um, local purchase order financing and the local service order uh, financing which means that young people can then after attaining the contracts they can come to us and we can finance them to a maximum of 20 million for lpo it means that you are supplying uh, goods for lso it is a, you are supplying service or maybe you are providing services the main features of this loan product is one that we finance up to 70 percent of the lpo lso amount Two is that uh, the maximum available funding is up to 20 million. And the other one is that uh, we give this loan at 6.5% commission on the amount disbursed. It does not attract any interest for the first 90 days. The advantage, your person in this idea, interest here will be the interest. was very low, so in this idea, we can finance the European. And then the back in the balance in the case of money to be a set 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 to be So after the Kaida called Bank and the Kona Akunis idea, the Kaida called Marafiki Akunis idea, a friend of mine, the Alinea Kesa can be a Kuna Maripana Pesa for Youthified. That's when he had a Youthified, the Kaida Haponika and Choir, then we can eat the document, Apple Dun decided here.
One is that uh, you need to have, a, to have been issued with an LSO, LPO, or a contract. So we require a copy of that particular LPO, LSO, or contract. Two, we need two most recent sized photographs. Uh, the company's profile, the ID plus the pins for the directors, uh, resolution to borrow in case of a limited company, certificate of incorporation or registration certificate just in case of a registered business name. We may require bank statement for the last six months. Certifi it must be certified for those who have been business for some time. We also require an operation, operating license, maybe from the municipal, from the county government. If it's within Nairobi, we require a, a operating license from Nairobi. But for the specific contract, if for example, if someone has been given to do a construction, then you may require even an NCA license, a method, uh, certificate from the NCA. If you have been given a contract maybe to supply some uh, health items, different, different goods have different requirements, that is. So we may require maybe let some letters from the authorized authorities. Take the documents, you present the documents for the company and the LPO from the ministry. Then we're given the undertaking letter, you take to the ministry, they, they sign, then you take back to the youth fund. Yeah, within two days, your money is sent to, to your account, to the business account. Uh, once you have uh, given us, uh, you have furnished us with all this, well, what we need to do is that uh, as, a, as, a, as an appraising officer, what we look at is that you have given us all the requirements. Uh, we have a valid LSO LPO. So you will we'll issue with an application form that you will do an application. Uh, that must not be more than 70% of the LPO amount. Then we'll vet the same application. Once we vet, if it is successful, we'll do an offer letter. We'll also do a letter of undertaking. A letter of undertaking is a document that uh, we write to the procuring entity where you are supposed to supply, that they need to commit themselves that uh, they will they will uh, remit the LSO or the LPO process through our account, designated account. Uh, this is as a result, now that you know that this LPO or LSO up to a maximum of one million, you don't require any security. So the only security that we have is this letter of undertaking. So once you have that letter of undertaking and you have signed our, 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 our offer letter, then you are going to go. We just disburse the money, we just avail the funds into your account. We as a fund, and especially a fund that's addressing youth issues, have leveraged a lot on technology. Recognizing that every young person in Kenya has a mobile phone, for example. So how have we used the mobile phone as um, an avenue for, for the young women to access our information? We've created what we call a short code, star 252 hash, that is currently available on the Safaricom network and on the Airtel network. We are still in negotiations with Orange to make sure that their service is also available on their networks. And uh, once a young person then uh, presses on star 252 hash, there is a menu that will appear on the various services we offer. What we are also doing and uh, will soon be launching in July is that um, the star 252 hash code will also allow the young women to apply their loans online. When a young person applies for a loan worth, uh, say, $20, it, will not make, it does not make sense for the fund to get this young person to start filling in a lot of um, you know, physical documents and the like. And again, some of this capital sometimes is very small capital, $100, you know, $50. So when, you, when we discover that when we have the processes prolonged for too long, then the young people lose interest. The next time you're talking to them, the young woman will be telling you, no, I moved on to other things. So we need to catch the opportunity to be able to work with the young woman the moment they contact us. There's a great opportunity 
in Kenya for the young women and uh, through the Jubilee government just being able to recognize that it's important to invest in our women. All I'll tell young women is you, there are jobs out there. Don't just sleep at home and, and say there is no work. Get the jobs, go to the youth fund, they give you finances and you do your work. There is an advice when I begin I'm a youth, but you go pay. But if kazi, they should not fear. Why the youth part? They are the good people to work with. And interest there, we go